Hello friends, welcome to Engineering Funda family. In this video, I am going to explain you tunnel diode that is also required as Isaki diode. Before I start with explanation, let me show you how many things that I am going to cover in this video. So first, I will be explaining you basics of tunnel diode. After that, I will explain you how structure and energy band diagram that is there with semiconductors which we will be using it in tunnel diode. So here in tunnel diode, we will be using higher doping concentration with P type and N type material. So that I'll explain you along with energy band of it. After that, I'll explain you structure and energy band diagram of tunnel diode in which we will be having P N junction. So for that, I'll explain you energy band diagram. After that, I'll explain you working of tunnel diode and based on working, I'll show you how we can have characteristics of tunnel diode. And at last, I'll be discussing about advantages, disadvantages and applications of tunnel diode. So let us try to understand first how symbol is there with tunnel diode. So symbol of tunnel diode that is similar to normal PN junction diode symbol. Only one difference is there. You can observe here at the side of cathode, we don't have straight line. Instead in tunnel diode, line is like this. So this is the basic symbol which is there with tunnel diode. Now let us try to understand basics of tunnel diode. So you should know tunnel diode that was invented by Leo Isaki in 1957. And based on his name, this diode is also referred as Isaki diode. He have received Nobel in 1973 based on his invention. Right. So, Leo Isaki have invented it. And based on that, he have received Nobel based on C. This tunnel diode is heavily doped PN diode, which exhibits fast switching characteristics. So, here we are using tunnel diode, which is heavily doped PN diode. Right. And due to higher doping concentration in semiconductor material, we are having narrow depletion width. So here you will be observing in tunnel diode, we provide extreme doping concentration compared to normal PN junction diode. And as doping concentration is high, depletion width that is narrow over here with this B1 PN junction tunnel diode. Right. It is used for high frequency applications. And in high frequency applications, we use it as oscillator and amplifier. Right. And this tunnel diode that is working at low power and it also exhibits negative resistance characteristics. So all these points that I'm going to explain you in great detail in this video itself. Now let us move on to structure and energy band of semiconductors in tunnel diode. In tunnel diode, we use higher doping concentration with N-type and P-type material. And because of that, there are a few basic things that you should know regarding energy band diagram. Let me show you what will happen. So here you can observe I have written P++ means extreme doping concentration that is there with P-type material. And here I have mentioned N++ means higher doping concentration that is there with N-type material. Here if you observe energy band diagram of P-type, then you can observe this is conduction band and this is valence band. And by this blue color line, I am showing Fermi energy level of this P-type. See, basically what happens is, with intrinsic semiconductor, Fermi energy level that will be there at center. And as you add doping concentration of P type, that Fermi energy level that will get shifted towards valence band. But if you increase doping concentration with higher concentration, then what will happen? This line that will get more inclined towards valence band. And as extreme concentration is there with P type, this line is going inside of this valence band. So that is what you need to understand. See for normal concentration, this Fermi level that will be nearer to valence band, but that doesn't go inside valence band. But here this Fermi level is going inside valence band. Why? The reason is extreme higher concentration is there. If you observe N++ in that you see Fermi energy level that is going inside conduction band. Practically what happens? Line will be there at center in between this conduction and valence band. As you increase doping concentration as per pentavalent impurities by making it to N type, that line will get shifted towards conduction band. Right. But here, this line is going inside conduction band. Why? The reason is here doping concentration is very high. Right. So, higher doping concentration that we use it with N type and P type semiconductor material. Now, I'll explain you what will happen as if we diffuse these two material together. In tunnel diode, we diffuse P and N material together 
and that forms depletion region. Here in tunnel diode, that depletion region width that is very slim. Why the reason is doping concentration of P and N type material is very high. And based on that, there are a few interesting things that is happening with respect to energy band. Let us try to understand that first. So here, if you observe P plus plus and N plus plus material that we are diffusing together, and here we are forming junction and at junction at the side of P type, there will be negative ions as it will be accepting electrons and at the side of N type there will be positive ions as it will be donating electrons. So here there will be generation of ions and this region is depletion region, width of this depletion region is very narrow over here. Why? The reason is doping concentration is very high, right? And based on that, if you want to understand how energy band is there, then you see this is conduction band energy and this is valence band energy, right? And here energy deviation due to this depletion region that is Q into VBI where VBI is built in potential, right. And if you observe here Fermi energy level, so that I have shown by this black color EF. Now here there are a few basic things that you need to understand before you go for working. See here EC that is conduction band energy and this is EF that is Fermi energy level. If you observe things at the side of N type, then See, in this vicinity, in this vicinity, what do we have? In this vicinity, we do have electrons, right? In N type, we are having excessive electrons as per doping concentration. So, in between this two energy level, extreme number of free charge carriers are there and those are electrons at the side of N type. If you talk about P type side, then in that, if you observe here, in between, see this green color that shows you EV. In between EV and EF, here we are having excessive charge carriers and those are holes. These excessive charge carriers are holes over here in between these two energy state. Now, see based on these holes and electrons, there will be tunneling effect. And that I am going to explain you in working. So, let us see how working is there. To understand working of tunnel diode, I will explain you tunnel diode in forward bias. So, to keep tunnel diode in forward bias, what I will do is, I will keep this diode as per anode terminal is connected with positive terminal of battery and cathode is connected with negative terminal of battery. And here, we will be applying forward bias voltage VD and because of VD, we will see how much ID current that passes through this tunnel diode. So, let us keep this VD voltage 0 initially. So, as if it is 0, I have told you that in energy band diagram, see Fermi energy level that will be like this, right. And see this band in energy due to this depletion region that will be Q into VBI. Now, what happens is as if you increase forward bias voltage, if you increase forward bias voltage, then this depletion region width that will get decrease, right. If you increase forward bias voltage, depletion region width will decrease. As if depletion region width will get decrease, what will happen? This band in energy that will also decrease. How much? It will be decreased as per Q into VBI minus V, where V is forward bias voltage. So, as you increase forward bias voltage, this red color bending of energy that will get decreased and its value will become Q into VBI minus V. Now, what I'll do is I'll be going to increase this VD voltage from 0. So, initially it is 0. Now, I am increasing up to V1. V1 is some small amount. So, you see what is happening. Here, if you observe this black color line, right, this black color line, you see, that is getting bent over here. You can observe here, this black color line that is getting bent, you see. Again, I am drawing it so that it will be visible to you. So, how much bending is happening, you see. It is getting banned, it is getting banned by this much amount, right. And that amount is how much? Q into V1, right. Now, as I have told you, at the side of N type, at the side of N type, what we have? Here we are having, here we are having electrons. And at the side of P type, what, we, what do we have? We are having holes over here, right. So, as you apply small forward voltage, you see here electrons, here electrons which are there at N side that is having energy state which is equivalent to holes which are there at P side. 
so now what will happen is here there will be tunneling here there will be tunneling of charge carriers right so electrons will get tunneled over here electrons will get tunneled so there will be flow of tunneling right so you can say electrons are getting tunneled over here and that will get recombined with holes over here right so there will be tunneling current which will flow due to small value now here what i'll do is i'll mention that in characteristics in parallel so as if v1 is the voltage then small current i1 let us say small current i1 that flows over here right small current i1 that flows over here now see what will happen from v1 to v2 now we are increasing a voltage a little bit so what will happen further bending will decrease over here right and that will go up to q into vbi minus v2 so now you see by this black color you can observe this bending is increasing right now if you observe here this this black color bending now that is getting how much q into v2 and as i have told you here what we have here we have electrons and here we are having holes right here we are having holes so again if you observe here still tunneling current is flowing still tunneling current is flowing and here tunneling current here tunneling current that is maximum why the reason is see this efn that is aligned to ev and this efp that is aligned to ec so here maximum maximum tunneling that is happening right so maximum tunnel current that flows over here why the reason is see these holes and electrons pre charge carriers those are aligned to each other both are having equal energy state so as if both are having equal energy state they can easily recombine to each other so because of that there will be tunneling current right so here see maximum tunneling current will flow so let me note down that in characteristics at v2 maximum current flows let us say it is i2 right now i am just mentioning the points right now let us try to understand what will happen as if you increase further voltage so from v2 let us increase voltage up to v3 right so what will happen now you see see this alignment of ev now see this is going bit up right this is going bit up so what will happen you see here we are having what here we are having electrons here we are having electrons here we are having holes here we are having holes right now if you observe see this alignment if you observe this alignment right so that is further increasing right now it is this much right it is q into it is q into v3 now if you observe see there is a tunneling current there is a tunneling current there is tunneling current like this but because of now energy state is having little bit less match see initially there was less match then you have been increasing voltage up to maximum match there was maximum tunnel current now if you further increase the voltage tunneling current will decrease why the reason is electrons energy state now that is it that is increasing compared to holes energy state so still there is a tunneling current but now relatively tunneling current that is decreasing from here onwards right so if you talk about flow of current you see at v3 now current is decreasing right so it is decreasing up to some value let us say it is decreasing up to this right over here now if you further increase the voltage what will happen if you further increase the voltage you see if you further increase the voltage then see here by this black color you can observe the band right so this is how much this is q into v4 and if you observe this is where we are having electrons this is where we are having electrons and this is where we are having holes right now if you talk about energy state of electrons and holes so that is getting mismatched from this onwards right so what will happen now there will be no tunneling current right so here almost you can say tunneling current that is getting zero after that you can say now tunneling current is zero right so when tunneling current is getting zero you can say here there will be least current that will flow right now after that once tunneling current is getting zero what will happen 
after tunneling current is getting zero if you increase further voltage then there is no tunneling current but because of voltage there will be flow of current so after v4 if you increase the voltage after v4 if you increase the voltage then that diode will act like a resistor or you can say it will be acting like a normal pn junction diode right so here if i want to draw characteristics if i want to draw characteristics you see from 0 onwards from 0 onwards so let us say this is o this is point o this is point a this is point b this is point c and this is point d right so from 0 to a there will be flow of current right and that will be tunneling current only from a to b we are having maximum tunneling current from a to b we are having maximum tunneling current from b to c what happens now tunneling current will decrease from b to c now tunneling current will decrease you can observe here it is decreasing now from c to d tunneling current is getting zero tunneling current is getting zero and from d onwards as if you increase voltage then what will happen from d onwards if you increase the voltage diode will be working like a normal pn junction diode right diode will be working like a normal pn junction diode so here there are a few interesting things that you need to note down you see from b to d if you increase the voltage from b to d b to d if you increase the voltage if you increase the voltage what happens current is decreasing right current is decreasing what it means it means it means we are having negative resistance right it means we are having negative resistance characteristics right and see this operation of tunnel diode that we use it in negative resistance region only why the reason is in that reverse recovery time is very less and as if reverse recovery time is very less you can say operational speed is very fast right and that is what we wanted to have so here in between b to d negative resistance characteristics that is there so based on characteristics i think now we can understand advantages disadvantages and applications of tunnel diode so let us see first how many advantages are there with tunnel diode so see tunnel diode is having long life why the reason is tunnel diode operates at lower power only and based on that you can say its life is even longer high speed operation is there with tunnel diode usually we use tunnel diode in negative resistance characteristics where reverse recovery time of diode is very less so here you will be observing its switching speed that is very fast due to less reverse recovery time so high speed operation is there with tunnel diode it is having lower noise and it is having lower power consumption usually we operate tunnel diode at low power only right when we talk about disadvantages then you should know tunnel diode cannot be fabricated in large numbers why the reason is in tunnel diode we use highly doped p and n type material so in that it is a bit difficult job to have mass production right here input and outputs are not isolated from each other see it is two terminal device and as i have told you at very less forward bias voltage there is a tunneling current we have seen that in working right at very less forward voltage at very less forward voltage there is a tunneling current right so as if something is coming back like see it is a two terminal device and there can be back current in circuits so as if back current is coming in that case there is a possibility of damaging of diode right so that is one disadvantage and that disadvantage is there based on isolation usually we isolate inputs from output right but that is a bit difficult job over here for tunnel diode it is having lower output voltage swing that i have already told you right like here output voltage swing that will be very less in terms of 1.1 voltage you will be getting that output voltage swing with tunnel diode as if we talk about applications then we use it in rf and microwaves right so in radio frequency in microwave we use tunnel diode usually majority of applications are there based on switching based on amplifier based on oscillator but all those things that we perform at very high frequency as switching speed of tunnel diode is very fast so this is all about tunnel diode i hope you have understood this still if anything that you would like to share please note it down in the comment section i'll be happy to help you thank you so much for watching